Have you ever done it gay-wise? I have. It's a hoot. It's late three, and woolly woofter Davith Thomas is popping into his local news agents. Hello, Mrs. Llewellyn. Oh, hello, David. And what can I do you for today? I'll have a quarter of bonbons and a copy of Gay Times, please. That's my only outlet. Is it not on the rack, love? I couldn't see it. Well, it must have gone, then. I'm sorry? You only get the one in for you, so I imagine somebody must have bought it. I don't think so. I think you'll find I am the only gay in this village. Oh, I remember. Somebody definitely came and bought it yesterday. It's got Hazel Dean in it and a very informative article on rimming. <laughs> Who bought it? Oh, do you know, I can't remember. Think. Well, now, um... Come on, woman! Well, now, let's think. Who came in yesterday? Di Davis, the music master. He might have bought it. He's not gay. Hmm. Well, he does share a cottage with the English master. They're just friends. No. Come to think of it, he just bought Vogue. See? He's not gay. Who else? Quickly. Father Hughes. A gay priest? What planet are you on, woman? I remember. Go on. Yes, I was quite surprised, actually, because I'd absolutely no idea he liked cock. Who? <laughs> Who? Well, I just popped next door to the tea room for a bun, and when I came back... For the love of God, woman, tell me! Noel Jones. Who? The blacksmith. Right! Hello, David! I'm commandeering this vehicle. What's this I've been hearing about... <laughs> oh! David. David Thomas. You must be Noel. No, I'm his brother, Rhys. Noel! <laughs> well, I, 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 no, I, I left someone in the event. 